All new tonight, the superintendent of Hillsborough County Schools is out. Board members voting 4-3 to three to terminate Mary Ellen Ilya's contract. Our Andrew Dowd was at that meeting and joins us live with the very latest. Andrew? And that decision came after hours of public input from parents, teachers, even principals, many advocating to keep the superintendent, but tonight the search is on for a new one. They may have listened, but I don't think they heard. They obviously had their minds made up, too, before we got here tonight. Frustration and disappointment for the more than 60 people who took turns speaking before board members. Many advocating for Mary Ellen Elia to keep her job. At a time when we are at such a critical need in our district to have this come down, it just, it's just mind-boggling that this was the decision that was made. Susan Valdez called it a business decision that needed to be made amid what she says were mounting tensions and uncertainty in the district. There was controversy under Elia's watch. Watch. Two ESE students died, one on a school bus, the other drowning in a pond behind her school. And then last year, school bus drivers complained the district's aging fleet was a danger to children. The district eventually spent millions on new buses. I put this on the agenda so the matter could be resolved openly and with frank discussion and debate. No other reason. We want full transparency, and that's what this does. Even with the termination of her contract, Ilya is still entitled to more than $1 million for the remaining two years of her contract. After the decision, Ilya said the district meant a lot to her in the 10 years she's been here. I feel disappointed that I'm not going to be here leading the team in Hillsborough County any longer. But there are great people here, and there are great teachers that every day are working with kids. Ilya will be with the district until March 5th, at which point she will be forced to take vacation until the end of, the, uh, end of June when uh, ties with the county will officially be cut. We're live in Tampa, Andrew Dowd, ABC Action News.